Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back into some more Anno 1800 and another Saving Your Disaster game. Now this is a save I was sent recently from someone that was having some trouble getting their balance under control and they just, they, they're making plenty of money just by selling stuff constantly, constantly selling things off so they could try to get some extra cash to deal with their negative balance. Now I've sat there and take a look at this for a little bit and it's a fairly straightforward fix and something I think I can get a handle on pretty quickly. So, of course, we're looking right here at his main production area, and there's quite a bit going on. He is producing advanced weapons and steam motors directly to use as exports. And then he's got lots of other stuff going on here. The main thing you're going to see a lot of is steelworks, because he's using steel as his primary export right now. Um, I think that is a bad idea. If you're going to go ahead, I, you, you've already producing this stuff right here. It's the better choice. Go ahead and utilize it. Now he is importing a lot of stuff that I technically wouldn't be importing, especially on Crown Falls because Crown Falls is full of mines. It has so many mines. It's absolutely redonkulous. So let's go through and start dealing with some of this right here. If we take a look yeah, he's, uh, is he utilizing all the mines? No, 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 he's not. Okay. So let's first of all, take a look and see what our production needs are for coal and iron. Okay. He's got a, he's got a fairly good workforce. So let's start dealing with some of these other issues. That's all actually, that's limestone. There we go. Is he producing enough limestone? Yes, he is producing a lot, enough limestone. There's another iron deposit, you know, go, you want to definitely utilize all of the mining sites on crown falls. Um, that's, that's a biggie. A lot of people don't do, they don't utilize everything on crown falls. Like they need to let's first get this taken care of. All right. Is that it? Yes. Okay. So that's all the coal. I mean, all the iron. Let's check and make sure we have all the coal deposits filled up first. Nope. One right here. Let's get that handled. Okay. That's all the coal and iron taken care of. Uh, as far as happiness, we've got a lot of excess happiness. So let's go ahead and pop up the working conditions. If you have excess hap uh, if you have like over 10 happiness, Go ahead and pop up working conditions. It's not going to hurt, you know, and it's going to help you a lot. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of these steel works. Uh, he's got, you know, I know he's trying to use it as an export. I don't recommend using it as an export. You know, it's just, it doesn't have that good of a, of a trade value. It's not that handy. We'll go ahead and get rid of the majority of them. Okay. Now, with all of that right there out of the way, yeah, I can get rid of some furnaces now as well. Does he even have this over here powered? I didn't even think to look to see if he has this powered. Let's see what we got. He, he, okay, he does have it powered up. So that's that's a good thing at least, is that he does have it powered. All right, how are we on? Okay, so I, I destroyed one too many... Although, I say that it's powered, but... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. It is. Oh, hold on. Do we have enough oil on this island? Does not have enough oil. But he is bringing oil over. Okay. So, he's bringing oil over from St. Sebastian. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and this is another mistake he has made. His oil harbor is all the way... Where is his oil harbor? It's all the way over here. And his industry is all the way over here. Crown Falls does not do well with having things spread out so far. You want to try to keep all of this stuff kind of as centralized as possible and keep it close together. You know, Crown Falls does not like being spread out. It's just, it's really annoying, honestly, but it is what it is. Okay, let's, uh, let's just condense some of this real quick here. Okay. All 
Alright, that should take care of... Uh, is it not, did I not build another one? I must not have built the second one. Whoops. Fix that real quick. Okay, now we have enough. Now in terms of iron and coal, now we're... we're well, now we're producing enough iron, we're just not producing enough coal. So we can go in here and we're going to just take this out. We don't need it anymore. Uh, as for coal, this right here will be just fine. However, let's not use uh, let's not use reinforced concrete. That's a silly idea. Let's actually do use the steel beams for that, though. Definitely want to use steel beams for that. But the rest of this, we don't want to do. Not, not useful at all. We're just going to get rid of all this for a second. Let's just get rid of it all. Take all of this out so we can redo everything. Uh, he was importing goulash. Let's just double check our trade routes. Now, see, here's the thing that I don't understand. Like, he is bringing over... So, he's producing goulash and he's importing goulash. I kind of say pick one. Don't do both, okay? So, instead of producing our own goulash... we're go I mean, Yeah, instead of producing our own goulash, we're just going to import it. So, let's get rid of those. Oh, and he's not using silos. Bad, bad idea. Definitely, you know, you have access to silos. Do silos. Do them. Like, you've got, like, you've got access to it. Do it. So we're going to get rid of all of this. All of this mess. Okay. Now. Double check our consumer goods here. So we are producing enough canned food at the moment. Actually, a little bit extra. And that's fine. Make sure I don't have any left. Make sure I don't have anything like that anywhere. And we're going to delete that trade route. Where's that ship at? Okay. So, I'm going to just... I'm going to put all of his extra ships right over here for a moment. Alright, so in terms of goulash that we need... We need 9 goulash per minute... Uh, if we t multiply that times 30, that's 270 goulash, 30 minutes. Uh, 30 is obviously equate to 30 minutes. Let's do the goulash and... Uh, four. One to five. It's just not the best, but it'll do. Okay. We've got to start getting this right here leveled up. Like it is, that is just a must. We've got to get this leveled up. So we'll do that. Oh, and they're they're fine. And then I also noticed he was importing um, furs. So he was importing furs. We take a look right here again. He is importing furs, and then he's producing furs. So you know, pick one. So let's just get rid of that trade route. Let's come down here and... Oh, God. Where was it at? I saw it a second ago. It was like... Yeah, here. God, Jesus, God. Let's just get rid of all of this. Okay. All that's gone now. All right. How much fur do we need? 36 tons per minute. Uh, but I do believe he is massively overproducing on fur coats. But that's okay. I actually want to overproduce on fur coats. Oh, and nice. I just noticed that. He is using the uh, costume designer. So that's actually really good. We are going to continue overproducing on fur coats because I'm going to make fur coats another one of our major exports over on this island. So we'll do fur coats and we'll actually import the fur that we need for it. So... 36 fur coats times 30. That's 1,080. And 433 divided by 30. We need an overproduction of 14 per minute. We have an overproduction of 18 per minute. So that is perfectly fine. We have a few extra. Now, something else I saw that he was importing. Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and accept that because I don't want to have to deal with war. Um, he was importing schnapps. My understanding from this player is that this island is pretty much all going to be investors. Don't worry about fulfilling schnapps. These people are not going to be here that long. Don't worry about the schnapps. It's not that big of a deal. You can do without it. Just supply them with like, you know, the pub and the church. Uh, I would do beer. Um, at least, I would, well, I would do at least like rum and beer. It's not too bad to get. 
So we, I would supply them with that at least, but I wouldn't worry about doing schnapps. You know, it's not going to be that the big that big of a deal. Okay, I think let's just double check here. What else we've got going? Are overproducing on that. He's not making beer at all. And he is not producing anything else at the moment either. So he's not producing like coffee. He said he wasn't doing coffee or rum or beer or any of that stuff. Uh, rum, I think, definitely is one that you should supply. Rum is super cheap to, to produce and import. Totally got to do rum. So we will go get the rum production set up for him very, very soon. Yeah, see, there, he wasn't even making enough fur, so we got a minute and a half until Tobias gets here, so that'll be fine. It'll be just fine. All right, if we go and take a look next, and we're just kind of kind of go down through here. What other trade routes did he have? Uh, so he's bringing saltpeter from over here. Make sure he's producing a saltpeter between here and Crown Falls. Yes, he is. Good, good, good. He is underproducing on timber, though. I just saw that. Let's get that fixed real quick, too. Right, let's see what a few of these right here will do for him. That should be more than enough so that's all good and that's all good all right so i said he was doing bread from down here and fish from right here so he's got fish going from here to crown falls are we producing enough fish nope we're not producing enough fish i mean fish is fish is really easy you should never run out of fish like you should just never ever run out of fish whoops I gotta get all this over here. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying because he uh he's got this right here. I'm trying to squeeze as much as I can into here. It's all prepared. Ah, newspaper. Alright, let's cover up that one and let's cover up I'm not going to do austerity stuff for him. Um, we will just maybe just do a little happiness or something. That'll work. I'm going to move all of his fish production down here. That way we can try to squeeze a little more in on the edges, if possible. Oh, come on now. Stop being, stop being dumb. Yeah. Okay, so I can't get that right there, so that's fine. Just try to squeeze as much space as possible here. He is not within range, unfortunately, but I think I can get away with it like that. Yeah. Nope, not that. All right, cool. All right, so that guy has a little more fish and stuff in there. That should be good now. Yeah, we're good on the fish now. Uh, the other one thing was bread coming from down here at Gorgino, or whatever that name is. And we're going to check up here. Again, underproducing bread ever so slightly. So let's get that fixed. Now, I would recommend definitely getting this island right here. 
going on around here. Uh, I would recommend getting this island like powered up as soon as possible. That way you can have fewer bakeries and stuff. So I would I would totally recommend getting power on that island. Get yourself everything built down there and get that up and running. You definitely are going to want that. You can decrease the number of bakeries. Okay. Now, so we're going to get the bread taken care of and that'll be fixed and that'll be good. You are, yeah, let's see, where was he making here? Yeah, making a little bit too much of this. So we're going to turn off one set of these each. Still producing plenty. So, but we don't need that much. Um, Underproducing tallow and way overproducing on glass. So I'm going to turn some of that off. Save a little bit of cash. Okay, so that's good. But tallow we're underproducing on. But we're overproducing on soap, so I believe I can just turn one off and we'll be okay. Yeah, just turn one off. All right, starting to get there. We're down to 8,000 now, so the income is starting to come back in. All right, let's see. I think the next thing that might be a better idea to do on this island is going to be likely to get rid of the pig farms. Is he producing sausage locally no where is sausage coming from oh he was importing sausage right okay he was importing sausage um so let's get sausage imported and let's use these for that how much sausage did i need per minute 18 per minute 540. Okay, so that's going to be plenty right there. I think, how many of those are we producing per minute, actually? We're producing quite a few. Four per minute, so yeah. That is more than enough right there to satisfy the need for the sausages. I'll go ahead and just bump that up to 600 just to make it happy. Now, some people will tell you just go ahead and, you know, max this out to the maximum amount and everything, and... But I don't tend to like to do that because then it may eat up all of your like export in one hit on one good. I would only do that if you're like just massively overproducing and you don't care about maxing it out. I, that's the only time I would max something like that right there out. Otherwise, I would make sure your ratios for imports and exports match up properly. Okay, if we take a look at every other any other consumer goods. That we know we have to deal with. We're going to take a look at rum here very shortly. Because rum is something that's definitely needed. Alright, where was that ship at that had... There he is. Alright, we'll get a couple of more of those in. And that should be enough. Yeah, that's enough bread now. We do need one more flour mill, and we're good on that. So cool. That's everything we need there. So bread is now taken care of, and we are happy with that. Lovely. Now, actually, I do want to take a look at his trade routes right here. Okay, so that ship, ship, that one. Okay. Um, there's so definitely something to be said for getting items in your clippers. He doesn't have too many items, really. Like, and so he's got an item right here that's really good. For, he's got two really good items for bakers right there. He's not utilizing them. Let's actually go use those real quick. He's got two good baker items, and he's not utilizing those. That is, that is not good. Let's bring those down. Oh, God, where did he go? Yeah. You got plenty of influence. You don't need to squander that. Just go ahead and use it. It's not going to hurt you. Let's go ahead and put those in. Now, in terms of ship items, I would be going over to Eli's Harbor in the in, in the old world. 
And what you want to look for is this guy right here, actually, the port dealer. The port dealer is probably one of the most powerful items in the early to mid game you can get for your ships. Uh, fairly cheap at 94,000, and it's very common to find him. That 60% cargo slowdown is massive. Um, the more cargo you have on a ship, the slower the ship is. It doesn't matter how much movement speed you add to it. A ship with 25% movement speed with no cargo is going to go faster than a ship with 25% movement speed and um, cargo slow. It's going to go slower than a ship with movement speed and, and cargo slowdown on it. So cargo slowdown is really, really crucial. And it's a big thing you want to do. Um, I used to be a huge, huge fan of, I don't even know if I can find any. Like, you know, just wanting to find them Im immediately, but... Like, oh, like these things right here. Oh, not those. Um, the sails? Is it the sail? And the sail. Yeah, I used to be a big fan of like these type items, like the fore and aft rigging sail and the Latin style sail. I used to be a big fan. I, this is the thing I always felt like I had to have was a Latin style sail. And then I realized the port dealer is just, just better. I mean, 60% is better than 25%. Um, even this right here is not as good as the um, port dealer. And so the port dealer can be put on any type of ship. So you definitely want to get some of those. Um, I mean, we've got plenty of money. I'm still not too concerned. Although I don't want to go through all of it like immediately trying to find another port dealer. Which it looks like I'm going to. Okay, let's not even try. But yeah, go 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 get yourself some port dealers. They are going to be like some of your biggest uh, biggest crucial things you can do to help your trade routes go faster. All right, let's get this guy right here. Um, God, this is like stuff everywhere. Oh, seriously, game? Come on now, work with me. All right, we're going to put that in. I'm going to get both of those in here. And that's probably going to give me way more. Yeah, that's way more than I need. So let's go and shut some of these down. I want to get it back to roughly where it was at before. So 19. Okay, cool. We are, going, we are a little shy on the... Uh, we're good there. We're at 18. Okay, so that's perfect right there. So bread is perfectly done now. And we're producing more. And we're also making a little extra chocolate. So that's going to help once we get to the uh, investor phase. It's because we'll have a little bit of chocolate right there. All right. I think all of that right there is good. I'm happy with this. Uh, I am considering importing beer. Let's take a look and see how much beer we need. 14 per minute? That's really not that much. Oh, oh 14 times 30. 420. Ah, 420! Sorry, I had to. Uh, Alright, so do 420. So 75 divided by 30 is 2.5. I don't think I'm producing that many. Don't think I could do it. No, I can't do that. Um, I possibly could do steam motors. Or I could split it, actually. I could split this. I don't tend to like to split things. But I might. He's exporting work clothes somewhere. I, I honestly haven't even looked to see, like, what's everywhere else. Like, I don't even know what where all his other dock lands are at and what they're doing. I haven't I haven't gone that far. Is it maybe over here in the old world that he's doing some no? That's weird. Huh. Or oh, <laughs> that's what upgraded. Okay. Um are, are we making weapons? Let's see if we're making weapons. I can't remember. We're making three weapons per minute. That's not too bad. Uh, I just don't think weapons is going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be a very good ratio. It's only... It's like... It's actually a terrible ratio for that. That's a bad ratio. That's an even worse ratio. I just... I want to kind of look and see if there's anything 
I could possibly do. Um, four. One hundred thirteen and thirty four is one hundred forty seven divided by thirty is four point nine. So I probably do need to split this. So we'll do like two fifty and two fifty. Yes, it's complete. It's it's over importing it, but I think it, that should be perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Eventually, it will fill up, and when it does, we will have enough in storage that it won't use up all of it. So. We'll split this for now. Uh, what I would recommend doing later, of course, is to increase your, especially once these start leveling up. Um, things we're not using right now, we're not doing windows, so get that out of there. Get the weapons out of there. Get the steel out of there. We're not doing any of that. So if you're not if you're not utilizing those, take them out of the pyramid. Let me get those out. So the beer is going to come in. That's going to start helping the income. Now. Let's pop down to the new world here and let's see what's going on. See, he started making rum, but he never finished it. And also, you were making way too much timber. Really don't need that much timber around here. Okay. Crown Falls needs... How much was it? 38. Oh, 38. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a quick cut in the video while I get the rum set up and then we will be back once I have that up and running. Okay. So finally got all this taken care of. Uh, we've got a large number of rum distilleries going with a trade union surrounding all of them with a Faracel Cerami in there. Now there are other specialists that I would definitely recommend getting in there such as let's take a look right here real quick and go to Rum Distillery. I would definitely keep my eye out for a some Somalia Raymond. 40% productivity is really, really big. Uh, the respected onologist is also pretty decent if you can get your hands on her. Um, the copper distiller is really good. The only problem is it's a little bit more complicated to get because you either need to get at the research institute, find it on an expedition or um, get lucky with a quest or from the uh, World's Fair exhibitions. But, you know, in terms of the things that you can get like real fast and real easy, you know, things like, like she's really easy to find. You can find her pretty common at either Isabel or Eli. Pretty, pretty easy to get right there. Um, of course, she's really good, too, but she's hard to get a hold of. Um, but yeah trying to think real quick if there's any other quickies that you can find and everything something to decrease workforce is also pretty decent because you know that's these things take up you know a reasonable amount of workforce for all this so yeah i would definitely keep looking for some more items to put in here to de to increase your production on all of that uh, up here we've got all of the Sugarcane pro, uh, production, and I also have them increased to 50% on those. So that is, again, not a big deal. We've got plenty of excess happiness. It's not going to be the end of the world. Not really concerned about that. And I do have a cargo ship that is working its way down to pick that up. The other thing I did do down here is we got ourselves an island set up with some more lumberjacks. This is something I like to do in the new world, is I'd like to find one small island and I fill it with lumberjacks and then I try to put in some trade unions and I stack it with production boosts for lumberjacks. Um, I find that that really helps with the... Um... Oh, and I don't even have one hooked up right here. <laughs> yeah, look at me. I'm, I'm awesome. Oh, is he like... He's just out of, just out of range, isn't he? All right, fine. Um, I do like having just a lumberjack island with trade unions and getting like saws and stuff in the trade union to boost it. That way I have one good location where all of my wood is being produced. So uh, we are making just enough rum. Like we're just enough rum, as you can see. It's just barely enough. Uh, I am giving these people rum just so I can like kind of get a bit of excess happiness. I don't have to do it. I could disable that. I don't think it's going to change it by a whole lot. They don't consume a lot of rum. So yeah, it barely changed it. So 
Um, as you increase your population, of course, you're going to have to expand these sorts of things. So just keep that in mind. But you have it for now. And once that rum starts coming in, that's going to really help the balance out quite a significant amount, too. We hop back over here now. Should be most everything supply that needs to be. Of course, we're not doing penny farthings or anything like that. Of course, coffee is something that you probably need to look into here pretty soon. Um, coffee doesn't give you the a biggest amount of money, but it is kind of cheap to produce. So definitely want to think about doing coffee as soon as possible as well. Uh, beyond that, I mean, you've got a lot of excess workforce. You know, we've got a huge excess of workers that can be upgraded. Now, just again, remember, as we upgrade more stuff, it's just going to consume more goods. So we need to consider expanding production and everything. But this at least gets all of that where it needs to be. Now, I think the only other thing we've got to think about is just waiting, waiting for that rum to come in. So I'm going to wait for the rum to come in and then I will be back and we'll see where we're at from there. All right, we are back and everything is fairly good to go now. We have a nice, a, a reasonable balance of 5,480. Not the best, but it's not the worst either. Uh, the main reason that the balance is so low still is because this person did decide to do motor assembly lines and heavy weapons production like right off the bat themselves. This stuff is extraordinarily expensive, obviously. Um, so we've got one dynamite factory. That's a thousand. Two. We have two heavy weapons. That's twenty-two hundred piece. So that's forty-four hundred. That's five. That's over five thousand just for these right here. The saltpeter works. There's three of the. Uh, they've got four of those, and those are five hundred a piece. That's another two thousand being spent on that. We've got three motor assembly lines. Uh, four brass smelteries. You know, a lot of money is being tied up in extra production. So what would I have done a little differently? I would not have done this. I would not have produced heavy weapons and steam motors as my as my exports and everything at this stage of the game. You know, you're not even into um, investors yet. You don't have tourists going. I would not have done this because that is, I mean, you're probably looking at what? Oh, somewhere around 10,000, around 10,000 coins spent on that stuff right there just on that and in terms of your ex of what you're importing with it honestly it's not worth it i mean to be on it to be quite frank and honest what you're importing is not worth the expense you know the goulash the beer the sausages uh, i did decide to go ahead and do a little bit of schnapps uh just for a little extra money it's not the it's you know 89 steel beams ain't gonna hurt anything to get rid of it but in terms of what you're importing and what you're ex for your exports, you're, you're in you're upside down basically. You're in an upside down situation where your exports are costing you more than what it would cost just to produce it on its on its own. The whole steel, the whole advanced weapons and steam motors thing, only really works if you have Bruno Iron Bright. Bruno Ironbright produces those as a byproduct on sewing machine factories and bicycle factories. Um, and that is where it becomes more valuable because bicycle factories and sewing machine and sewing machine, especially sewing machines are dirt, dirt cheap to run. And the products you need to import for them are dirt cheap to import. So you actually come out ahead and you are in the green on your maintenance costs versus what you are doing. Producing them yourself is not the best course of action. I didn't want to destroy it and do something completely different because that's what this player wanted to do. But I would recommend not going any further with building more of this stuff right here. Okay. I would not build more of these until you're like, until you have like a massive income. Our income's gone down slightly. And I think it's probably, yeah, we, we've run out of rum here. So what I want to do then is add on another ship to that. So let's grab another um, another cargo ship onto that. I think he's not even down there yet, is he? No, he's not even down there yet. Actually, that's kind of interesting how I'm already out of rum. He just dropped off 600. That should have been enough. 
Okay, hold on. Let's take a look and see what's going on here. He dropped off, what, 300 rum. Alright, let's take a look and see what's going on real quick. Let's see how to determine how to figure this out. We take a look at stock over time. Not showing... It's weird. It's not showing any stock. Seven minutes ago... That is really strange. Okay. I should not have run out of rum already. He dropped off 300. And so, eight minutes ago, at 300, that, that should not have gone that quickly. I need 36 per minute. So that should have taken me... 5 by 36... It should have, uh, well, I mean, it should have run out by now, but it ran out a little while, a little quicker than it, I thought it should have. Um, so what is going to have to happen here, basically, is that we're going, you have to watch this right here. Um, and see how long it takes the ship to get back and forth. This is why I'm saying that the um, loading speed, not the loading speed, the cargo slowdown stuff is really, really important. Because that cargo ship loaded down with 300 tons of Rum is not going to cut it. You know, it's taking too long to get back and forth. So while we are producing enough, we need more ships. So I added another cargo ship on there. But what we really need to do is get items onto those ships to stop the um, to to de to counteract the cargo slowdown and everything. So that's going to be something that that player is going to have to do is get those items on those ships. Two cargo ships, I believe, should be good, but if you get items on there, then you are definitely golden. You just want to get them going back and forth as fast as possible. So definitely look for a port dealer, and then maybe also look for something with loading speed and movement speed, I believe. Um, let's see. Take a look for something with some loading speed that's pretty easy to get. Um... The shipper is pretty common. He's not bad. 30% load speed's okay. Um, Salima is good. Of course, any any of these, are, well, other than her, any of these three right here are good to, are easy to find at Eli, and I would recommend getting those. Uh, of course, you could you could do more um, cargo slowdown stuff by getting like a propeller. Obviously, you could craft some propellers if you wanted to at. Um, Nate's Harbor over here, you get some movement speed and cargo slowdown. But things you could buy, maybe get like the controllable pitch propeller. Uh, this will give you a 100% cargo slowdown and increase the movement speed. So that would be a good option as well. So there's a couple of different things you could do in there to get that taken care of. That way you know that the rum is going to get there and you won't run out. If we take a look again real quick here at our storage. How long are we? We're at 12 minutes now. Where is he at? See, he's he's still not even left the, the port here. Okay, there. He's finally got that. Okay, so now I can go back here. We can figure up exactly how much I'm going to have to have. Go here. We take a look here. About 14... So it's going to take almost a half hour, almost 30 minutes, okay? Almost 30 minutes uh, to make this happen right here. And that 30 minutes times we needed 30, about 37 tons. That's 1,100 tons per half hour that we have to have. I'm doing right here 300, 600. I need another cargo ship on this route is essentially what I'm hearing. I need another cargo ship. So we're going to go ahead and make one more cargo ship. Now, a lot of people might be like, oh, you should do the world class reefer. No, the world class reefer is actually the worst ship is actually a bad ship for this route. The world class reefer does go between regions much faster than a cargo ship. However, once it gets into the region, it loses that speed bonus. So a the cargo ship 
being able to go across the region with double movement speed items with two movement speed items is better okay it does the car the the world class reefer going from all the way up here all the way down here with only one movement speed item doesn't it won't make up for it being able to go between the regions faster it's uh it's still not going to be the better choice for that uh the better choice for a world-class reefer is if like you use this island as like a storage island and transported everything from the new world right here and then moved it from here up here with cargo ships that's where the world-class reefer is going to be a better choice but going from all the way up here all the way back that's it's not it's going to be too slow so we're going to put a third cargo ship on this route because I need 11 I need a little over 1100 per half hour um I have two ships doing 300 per half hour so I need a fourth a third one to ensure that I have enough rum coming in that way I know that within a 30 minute time period I'm bound to have that much going on so that's how you do the math and figure out how much you how many cargo ships you might need on a trade route right there so once we have that on there and that's going, the rum will be completely taken care of and I won't have to worry about the rum anymore. Then it's just a matter of constantly expanding, upgrade more houses, increase your production and make sure everything is fully supplied. If we take a look at all islands, we should be pretty good now. Uh, well, actually we just take a look at all. I don't, I don't care about the old world, but we take a look at everything here. Everything should be good to go. Care about the construction materials. All that's good. Intermediate goods. Everything is good. Raw materials. We are importing a little extra coal, so I'm not worried about that. Everything is golden. Only thing, we, again, we have to worry about is getting that rum brought in, and that will take care of the balance. So other than that, I think this save right here is good to go. Again, it was an easier one to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. There wasn't as much to deal with. And it was mo mostly just a case of, you know, evening out your productions and making sure you had everything you needed and then getting that rum and the beer coming in. Rum and beer are really, really crucial, especially if you're doing this. You know, if, if you want to build a bunch of heavy weapons factories and steam motors and motor assembly lines for to get the steam motors, rather, you're going to need to be overproducing on... Uh, not overproducing, but producing your beer and rum, basically. You need that stuff, and you need a large population. Those things, like I said, are insanely expensive. We're spending almost 10000 on that. Again, I wouldn't have done it that way. I would have found something a little less crucial, <laughs> a little a little less intense, based probably, is maybe what I would have done. Um, easier goods to export, you know, fur coats, uh, spectacles aren't too bad. Uh, sewing machines are an easy one to export. They're cheap to get up and running, and they have a reasonable export ratio. I would have done stuff like that and done things like your steam motors and advanced weapons later on in the game when you had access to Bruno Ironbright. One other point that I want to mention is this person still has not gone to Land of Lions. Go to Land of Lions. Go there. Do it. The reason you want to get to Land of Lions. Go there, get yourself a schooner. Just a schooner. That's all you need is a schooner, okay? Get a schooner. Put on to there either the um, one of the items that decreases trade prices. Uh, easy ones to find uh, over at uh, Eli would be something... That's weird. Easy ones to find at Eli's Harbor might be like Dolores the Diplomat, although the maintenance cost doesn't really matter. Um, let's see, where is the other one? Uh, that, the one that I like to get. Salima is good. Loading speed and trade prices. She's a good one. There's a... Where, oh, here she is. I like this one right here, though. It's Suko the International Exporter for the cargo slowdown. That's the one I like to put on that schooner. Put that on the schooner, go to Katim, and then go to Archie, and buy 100... Where is Archie? Good lord. Go to Archie, and buy yourself up 100 pocket watches. 
It's going to cost about seven seven hundred and seventy thousand coins with the discount. Okay, you always want to do it with a discount. Don't do it full price. Do it with the discount. It costs about seven hundred and seventy thousand coins. Okay, then you'll set up a trade route to Katima's Harbor in Embessa. Sell those one hundred pocket watches to him. Uh, you do need, I think, I think you only need like maybe two or three hundred elders to unlock pocket watches to be sold to him. It's really easy. Uh, just get a few elders set up until you see pocket watches sell, being show, uh, showing up in Katima's Harbor that he requests them. He pays like 13000 for them. What that does is it almost doubles your income. You spend 770000 and then you get like 1.3 or 1.4 million back. And then it's just a constant back and forth. And it is an easy way to make a crap ton of money. Uh, it's slow, but it's con the reason I like doing the schooner is because by the time the schooner gets back, this right here has refilled to 150, so you always have 100. That's the reason I like to do a schooner and not a clipper or something. That way, when you get back, all one all of them will be restocked, and you constantly have a 100 um, turnaround ratio on those. So, all right, guys, I think with that. That is going to be it for me and this save right here. Um, I really want to see that income go back up, though. So, oh, there is that. No, but hey, look, I, I do have another cargo ship sitting around. Okay, well, let's just put that on that route, too. You, you, keep Trelawney, Scallion. Cool. Is anybody in the region yet? Okay, someone just got to the region. This guy is... Oh, down. See how slow they are? They're so slow because they're so laden down. Yeah, definitely go get yourself some cargo slowdown items. Look for that port dealer or a controllable pitch propeller or something like that. Get those on there for going between the regions. Cargo slowdown is probably one of the uh, second most important sh uh, trade ship stats other than movement speed, obviously. You always want to get as much of that as you can. So old Nate has fulfilled a trade. Good. And this right here is all good to go. Other than that, I think this I, I think this game is good to go now. I'm going to end it here before I continue rambling on. And I'm going to send this back to the person so they can work with it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this helped you out and gave you some pointers and some ideas and tips. If it did, let me know down below. If you have a disaster save and some problems you want me to fix, you know, like things like this. <laughs> oh, maybe you have a disaster save. You have problems with your game. Let me know on Discord. The link is down below in the description, and we'll talk about it. Till the next one, take care, guys.